Our next speaker uh, is an estate and commercial litigator, an, arbi an arbitrator, which means I have no idea what he does. Uh, who is, if, e easy does it, pal, I'm still a... <laughs> Not a fucking duet, Jesus. I'm gonna see how long I can make this introduction. <laughs> he has been working with complex interpersonal dynamics for more than 15 years and also leads a variety of community groups and charitable organizations. Now is your time. Please welcome Benjamin Karma. <laughs> Thank you. So I don't think anybody expected tonight they're going to um, get spiritual advice from a lawyer, but um, I assure you that's one of my intentions. Um, uh, so without further ado, I don't uh, know how to follow all these great speakers, so I'm just going to hit the red button, see what happens, and see if I can win this case. <laughs> so my first slide's about a transcendental moment. Um, this one, I was running in Istanbul in Turkey. It was 45 degrees out. My inner flame was inexhaustible. I had a vision of human history flash before my eyes, from the Phoenicians to the Romans to now, and it was in a fisherman who was reeling fish into a plastic dirty bucket on the uh, ocean side there. I saw these singing sands through this circling bird and this guy throwing fish in the bucket. And I knew immediately what the sands of the Sahara were all about. And it got me thinking, what makes, what makes the sands sing? Well, it's really because each of us is a little different. Each of us has a little bit of a different shape and the sands rub together and that's what makes them sing. It's the wind casting them against each other. So it's about a collective us, the collective humanity. We can't be the dune, but we can be the grain of sand and that's all we have. Um, so what do we sing? Well, in this I see my clients in this photo, not literally. I see the gay man who was cut out by a narcissistic father. He was denied his very existence by religious narcissism. He was silenced by power and trauma. I see the mother whose daughter committed suicide because the father abused her as a child. He erased her with hatred and fear. I see the woman who showed up defeated by justice before it had served its purpose, defeated by time, and I was able to save some of her dignity and give her her voice back. The next slide is about why. So why do we sing? Well, I'm just going to give you a quote from the reggae genius Ai Tawe, who sings, Children have no doubt, trees without root can bear no fruit. Because I know them old time, Rasta man, yeah, could never fade away. What does this mean? It means we're born with a purpose in us and we have to live for that purpose. So the next one here, um, this one's about the ghosts. Um, sorry. Um, I, we've already flown past the ghosts one. This one's my dogs, and they're not ghosts, thank God. Um, uh, so this one really is about discovering our purpose, okay? This one's about unity, and I solo travel, and I take all these random pictures in that. And what I see in this is a lady dancing by herself, just a beautiful thing. Nobody's bothering her. She doesn't need to worry about any of what I just described about the clients earlier. I can really, literally get out of it and get into life. These three photos, beautiful. A uh, couple here sitting on the Spanish steps, just enjoying a peaceful moment of unity and watching the people go by. The lady in the middle, she's serving a purpose. She's a, a street, uh, basically a street cook, and she's enjoying it. Um, this one's about discovering play. So my dogs found this 1980s collage. Someone just like jettisoned out their house and I was walking by and I'm like, that's a cool picture. Why? Because there's something about time that unites us. There's timeless moments like the horse in the middle. And on the, on the right, there's like a psychedelic thing that we had to fly past that I was gonna describe <laughs> if I had more time. <laughs> discovering play. This one's beautiful. This is in Pipa, Brazil. And uh, I was just sitting there on the beach. There's this beautiful picture of a lady just enjoying her peace. And there's a unity and a connection just walking past her in this. This one's my friend Richard Lee Tai. Where are you, Richard? Up there. Woo! Give Richard a shout out. He, Richard, gave a Pachaka child a couple months ago. That's why I'm here. He got in a freaking airplane with me with the pilot who looked like he'd just fallen out of a burning man somewhere. And he was sure we were going to shit our pants before we got on the plane. So that's unity too. Um, 
So uh, discovering play, I mean, this one doesn't need a lot of words, but what I wanted to say is it's about children. These are my children. Uh, I'm 42, I don't yet have my own. I'm, I might one day, but these are my children right now, and they always will be. And they unify us. They teach us so much about life. Um, and this, so now the third segment's about love being spirit. These are just random collages of me meeting random groups of people in my solo travels, and they include me. The first one's like an IT company. I was just the odd man out, and they had room on their boat. <laughs> the middle one uh, is um, some uh, very drunk Brazilians. <laughs> More time after the show on that one. Uh, love is spirit. Family is a choice. I've learned that in my own life. And uh, there's a story there, of course. But these are Brazilians. They're not my blood family. But I found my family in Brazil doing some charitable work. And um, you have to learn your spirit language in this world. And this one also, love is spirit. Trust nature, I'm saying. Because basically it's the most natural thing in this world. Um, nature will trust you. I went on this random hike with said Brazilians, and this dog followed me the whole time. I've always had this connection with animals. They've always trusted me. Um, interesting shots. Uh, this, is, um, this, one's about, this one's about basically connecting with people as they go by in your life, and not missing this moment. The first guy's cooking some sardines in some festival in Portugal. The girl and him are ignoring the sardines. He's turned, he's attuned to her, right? Um, Finally, this one uh, is uh, about some of the art I'm creating in my life and sharing, first, first time ever, uh, sharing some of my own photography beyond the 50 friends I have on Instagram that most of them don't even like it ever. Um, <laughs> that's okay, I don't care. Uh, and this one's also about a bit of a psychedelic journey um, in my own life and self-discovery and uh, seeing all of the amazing things that people can compress in an image, and I'm trying to recreate with my own photo on the right. And there's like a, there's a rainforest in this, believe it or not. Um, and this one, this one speaks about unity in terms of words we can express and words animals can express wordlessly to us. Um, go, taking my dogs to the off-leash park or spending time with my friends in their garden in Brazil these places of peace. So finally, I just want to leave you with this. Love unites all creation. This is a photo I took in the, one of the rainforests I was walking along in. What I've learned through my journey is we come from it, we return to it, and it's all there really is, and the rest is all distraction. Um, people who haven't figured that out yet, they take people to court. <laughs>